Hi, my name is Pumi Lapo. Uh, my full name is Pumelele, but everybody calls me Pumi, so. Um, I am from Durban originally, and I've been living in Cape Town for a long, long time, so this is my home. Um, I have a son, he's 11. He's one of my best friends, a uh, beautiful human being. And um, I love the work that I do. In 2015, I left the corporate environment and um, I decided later that I would like to um, work with children. Um, I think that was really it, work with children. Um, and I joined an NPO that runs after school programs and I was um, just, um, I was supposed to be there for a short time, but I ended up being there for two and a half years. Um, because I really enjoyed it, um, I felt like I was doing something that's important to me, um, and so I stayed in the in the NPO space, um, and that's yeah, that's how I end up here. Um, I just go back to how I grew up, um, kind of low self-esteem, kind of unsure. Um, about my, my place in the world and so I have this thing for children that I would like to help them build self-esteem and realize that they can be the, the best they can be, whatever it is um, that they want to do with their lives, they can do. Um, and it took me a long time to get to a point where I believed in myself and I just, um, when I see a young child, I want that for them. I want them to be able to know that they can do whatever they want in life, they can be whoever they want in life uh, and just have that freedom and not lose that spark. You know, all, the, all kids start with something, they start with that spark and they just think the universe revolves around them and somehow as you grow older that just kind of dims and dims and dims and I don't want that for any child. Um, so I work at the Desmond and Leah Tutu Legacy Foundation at the moment and when I joined them I discovered that Archbishop Tutu wrote children's books and one of them really just, um, I fell in love with it. Um, it's called Desmond and the Very Mean Word. It, it lives in my laptop bag and um, I just thought what wonderful lessons for young people to learn because he tells the story of how he was bullied as a as a young teenager and how an adult kind of talked him um, into not being angry and retaliating but into um, having compassion for the other child and, and eventually forgiving them. And because of that um, came in my mind a puppet show idea and there's a puppet show, you know, so, so that whole and, and seeing young kids come in and um, and learn from this and laugh and, and kind of get the point of it. For me, it was just like, oh my gosh, you know, it, it, it became, um, I, I get giddy with excitement when I see young kids light up. Um, and, and this for me is a, is a way for me to contribute even more to young people and keeping that light on for them. Um, so Funda Wande is, um, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be doing my life's work here. I feel like this is what I'm called to do. Um, it just, um, I know when I walked in here, I, I literally just, something, I, I don't know how to describe it, man. It, it, um, it feels like home and, and I'm just so grateful and honored to be coming into a role like this where I can do my life's work. I am a very collaborative person. I'm very down to earth. Um, I don't need to be the smartest person in the room, um, but I, I'm a quick learner. Um, I'm able to distill really complicated things and, and make them simple, because if I understand something, then I feel like it can be communicated better to everybody else. Um, in, when I was in corporate, I used to work with chemical engineers, um, and um, I was able to explain what we did to normal people in a very simple way without trying to sound like an engineer. So um, I'm, I think communication is, is one of my, um, my gifts um, and I'm, I'm relatable, I, I walk barefoot, uh, I walk around barefoot so people must get used to that, I just kind of, this is what I do in the summertime. Um, 
Yeah, and, and I try to present who I am without trying to be something else. So what you see is kind of what you get. Um, I'm a little bit of an open book. Um, I think I'm very self-aware as well, so I know the things that make me impatient, that trigger me, and I'm able to kind of manage myself. So um, I will be able to relate to people and people will be able to relate to me fairly quickly. Um, and yeah, I, I think the one thing that I discovered about myself, because I'm an introvert, and um, early on in my career I thought that was a, a problem, um, and then I discovered actually it's not. Um, you can be an introvert and still love people and be okay in the company of people um, and be open. So yes, I will, I will go to my place and, and read a book and kind of <laughs> be in my bubble, but I'm, I'm also a people person at the same time. So that for me was growth um, and, and really knowing that um, I can build a relationship easily with anybody um, without feeling drained about it. So. The, the most fun thing I do is play tennis with my child. <laughs> um, I, I had a, a, a child at a very late stage, um, late age, I guess, and um, for me, he's my teacher. I just love um, watching him grow. He's 11 now. Um, and that's my best relationship. I'm, I'm, I feel like he's teaching me as much as I'm teaching him. Um, so spending time with him just as a human being. I like him a lot as a, as a person, not as a, you know, we don't have a, a mother-child thing. We're like side by side. Um, and I'm, I'm learning who I am through, through him. So yeah, that's what lights me up. I think if all of Fundawande's partners, collaborators were in the room and the team, um, it's that what I would say to them is that I would I want to be the biggest advocate for young children that there is. Um, I feel I feel it here um, this this purpose of this organization, and I'm very much aligned with it. And I um, I want to be the champion for for young children, and I feel that we should do right by them. Um, and that is something that I, uh, I'm able to advocate for, uh, able to fight for um, and make my life's work. Um, I think for the leaders of, of the country, um, I would say that we, we all want the same thing for the, for the child. Um, we are all saying the same thing, um, but maybe in terms of implementation we differ, uh, in terms of the pace of Im implementation we differ. I think there's so many opportunities to collaborate um, and, and really do right by our children. Um, and that's really all I would say, let's do right by our children and work together. And um, with, without criticizing, without defending, without um, all the politics of it, let's just kind of focus on the end game is for the child to benefit. And if we all focus on that, I think we can win. So my, my favorite uh, mantra is my heart is open to love and trust um, because of how closed I was when I grew up. Um, and, and it's the biggest lesson I've had to learn is to just be open. Um, and it's really helped me as a human being to um, rise above all my limitations and rise above whatever bad things happen. Um, it's just believing that the universe has my back and I stay open.